Hey, this is Dr. Jody Stanislaw, and today I'm going to talk about why we can't always trust our technology. Perhaps you're just finding me, or perhaps you've been following me. I've been doing Facebook Lives now for, gosh, since the end of March, since this whole, you know, COVID new lockdown world began. And I'm here because I want to help type ones feel inspired and motivated to get the best care of your life to get good blood sugar levels. Good blood sugar levels are so important right now because that's how we keep our immune system strong, at least one of the ways. And um, a lot of us with type one, it's kind of scary. You know, they say people with diabetes are more at risk of getting sick. And um, it's true if your blood sugar levels are all over the place. So I've been sharing tips and motivation. This is probably my 70th or so uh, Facebook Live because I've had type one for 40 years. And so I've been in your shoes. I know how frustrating and overwhelming it can be. I mean, shoot, I still get frustrated and overwhelmed sometimes today. <laughs> so I've dedicated my career to helping people just like you get better blood sugar levels so we can confidently live a healthy life. And let me tell you, the goal that I use with my patients is 6.5% A1C or lower. Um, I think that our type 1 diabetes world has become a little bit too lax in thinking that 7s and 8s are okay. And I'm here to say that if you want to take the best care of your body, you really need to take action to get a 6.5 or lower. And I understand why you might be rolling your eyes because if you haven't received the proper training, it's just going to feel impossible. It's like, I, don't, I can't do this, right? It's, it's too hard. Well, the problem is, is most type ones, perhaps you included, haven't received the education that you need to be able to achieve that. And that's what my whole business is about. It, well, my whole business is me <laughs> running my business by myself here in my studio. And I, uh, but I, you know, I've, I have, check out my website. I have a bunch of courses there. You can, you know, see my free videos and my free handouts on how we with type one diabetes, how you with type one can live a healthy life. So today, my point is um, about why we can't always trust our technology. So if you're watching, leave a comment. Let me know what technology you have, okay? Um, but what I want to show you is let's look at what my DEX says I am right now, okay? Let's see. DEX says I am 106, okay? So let's see if I can get this up. Okay, here is, I don't I can't see my video today. I hope it's working, but here I am, right? 106, okay? So I'm gonna take my meter now and see what my finger poke says. Wouldn't that be interesting? All right, so what does my finger poke say? Are they accurate, right? My point is that nothing is always perfect. We can't expect perfection out of our technology because the reality is a lot of meters, I'll send the link, I'll put the link in the thread below after I finish, but a lot of meters don't even pass accuracy, but yet they're on the market. Okay, so what does my meter say? My meter says 98. So, I mean, that's not too off, right? That's eight points off, but this says 98 and this says 106. And so, whoops, um, my point is, we just have to be reminded that and to be honest, this is a pretty flat 106. And so the time when the meter and the CGM are going to be the most accurate is when there's not a lot of momentum going on. I don't have insulin on board. I haven't been eating. I'm just kind of hanging out, right? So that's when you're going to have the most likely opportunity to see the two be perfect. However, when you're eating or when you have insulin on board or when you're being active and your numbers are moving around, that is when your CGM might be a little bit delayed, right? Because the CGM isn't in blood, right? It's in extracellular fluid. So uh, there could be a delay. Like, so oftentimes the meter will show that I'm already low, even though DEX doesn't know I'm low yet, or maybe the meter will show I'm high, but the CGM doesn't know yet. So the G6 is, has less of a lag than the earlier ones. But, you know, this is true for all of the technology out there is it's not always perfect right? The only time I was in DKA was when I was wearing an insulin pump and I didn't realize that the infusion set had come out and I treated myself to a big, big dinner. And so I was giving myself all this insulin and I got none of it. 
And so I started feeling sick and I was home alone after dinner and had to crawl to the phone and call 911. Um, I just thought I was super high and dehydrated. I had just ran a half marathon actually that day. So I was celebrating with a big meal. So I just figured, oh, I just must be sickly dehydrated. Well, I didn't realize I was in DKA because my pump had come out. So, so I just want you to know, I'll put the link in the thread to um, an article that kind of measures what the most accurate meters are. And um, I just wanted to remind you today that you got to use your common sense. You've got to realize that sometimes if your technology doesn't jive with what you think should be correct, then don't always be so quick to just believe that technology is 100% correct and that you're wrong, right? We need to kind of use our common sense. Um, my deck said I was, you know, super high the other day. And I thought, that's not right. Tested myself. Sure enough, I was like 98. And other times, this might happen to you if you have CGM, my decks will say I'm 50. I'm having a massive low. Well, I was napping and I was sleeping on where my insertion, my, where my, um, my sensor was. So that's called a compression low, that when you sleep on where your, um, your sensor is and you have compression there, it can cause a false low. So my take home message for you today is to use common sense. And don't always believe that your technology is 100% accurate. As I do with all of my patients, I work virtually with patients all over the world. And as I teach in my courses, we've got to use critical thinking when it comes to managing type 1. We've got to use critical thinking. So don't be so quick to just see a number and react without taking a pause, stop, breathe, and think. <laughs> SBT, stop, breathe, think before we do a knee-jerk reaction that then ends us up very high or very low. So please check out my website. I have so many more great resources for you for how you can get good blood sugar levels. My website is drjodynd.com. I've posted it right up there. And I will be back tomorrow right around 3 o'clock Pacific, eight no, 6 o'clock Eastern. And I'll probably do these for a few more weeks. I don't know what I'll do after that. But right now during COVID, I just wanted to come and offer my, my education and support and inspiration to all of us living with type one. So please leave a comment. Um, I'd love to hear from you what you thought about this video and um, how you're doing with your diabetes. So have a great day. Check out my website, Dr. Jody ND. Lots more great goodies for, there for you. Have a great day. Bye for now.